I'm Ryan with Prudential Pest Solutions, and from September through December, the spotted lanternfly is laying eggs. Now they can lay their eggs on all kinds of substances, but I'm going to show you what they look like on the underside of this tree here, so you can get an idea of what you should look for on your property and what you should be scraping off from now, which is the fall, all the way through the springtime when the nymphs will arrive. So let's take a look at what that, what the, what the egg masses look like. So on the back side of the branch here, we can see that it's like this putty looking waxy substance. And if we kind of gently scrape away, you can see the lines of the eggs themselves. And here's a good example of what the eggs look like here, right there, when there's no waxy coating on it. And you can see more of them here. So these are brown in color, but they can be all the way to gray to almost a, almost a really light colored white. So here's an example of some a wider one um, and all you really want to do is just take your scraper give it a little pressure and just crush it straight down all right you just need to crush it and you can see all that gooiness is those eggs popping and, and we're killing off those lantern flies so on this maple here if i zoom out there's all kinds of different colors and and, and algae growth fungal growth and and other kind of stuff. So this is what the lanternfly eggs look like right here. These are brown, but sometimes they're uh, sometimes they're gray. This green stuff, that's not lanternfly eggs. And even some of this white patches here that you can see here, this is just discoloration on the bark. This is not lanternfly eggs. This is, so to give you an idea of when they're all close together, this is just discoloration. These are actual lanternfly eggs, and even this white one here. And this is just, you know, moss, fungus, whatever, just growing on top of it. So where these eggs are going to be laid is you want to look at the underside of branches. You can see here that there's a fence. So you want to check the underside of the fence for lanternfly eggs. Then you come over to the house, which is right next to this tree. And we want to look up at the soffit, because look, there's a lanternfly there. And he's not just hanging out, he's going to be laying eggs. So you want to check the soffit underneath the windows, window ledges. And again, you just want to scrape, scrape, scrape them off. Now a lot of times folks will say, hey Ryan, so I can scrape the lanternfly eggs that are, you know, five, six feet off the ground. But what about the ones that are all the way up in the tree? Well, I have a scraper here that has a, has a screws on it that we can put it on our pole. And this is a telescoping pole here that I use for yellow jackets and hornet jobs, but um, you can find the same kind of thing for um, what the painters use when they paint ceilings. It's a telescoping pole. This one reaches about 25 feet. Um, but even if you don't have a screw attachment, you could always tape this um, to a pole and get it up there. And that way you can get, you know, up to 15, 20 feet up. The important thing is we want to scrape off as many as possible because the more egg masses that we kill now, the less lanternflies we'll have to deal with next year. Now you can do this yourself. We offer this service as well. Um, if you live in southeastern Pennsylvania, we're happy to help. Um, but really, the more the more egg masses you can kill, the better. And then you can formulate a plan for the springtime um, once you know what trees they're going to be on. If you have a spotted lanternfly problem and you live in southeastern Pennsylvania, we can help. Give Prudential Pest Solutions a call or visit us online at prudentialpest.com. I'll come out, we'll take a look at your property, we'll evaluate which trees are most susceptible and where the lanternflies are most likely to be, and we'll come up with an affordable treatment plan to kill them. That's what we do.